What's up, guys? Welcome back to the horror show. I'm Cecil Laird. I'm Cece Von Slaughter. I'm Brady Lee. I mean, Fuego here. Another trailer reaction from your horrific crew, and we are doing the resort, but they cleverly spelled it with a Z because it's about zombies. Oh. Yeah, take that for what it's worth. But already out. Yeah, <laughs> they're billing this as. Walking Dead meets Jurassic Park, I guess. The humans win in this movie, and they've got the zombies on the run, and they put them on, like, a weird island so people can go and have chained-up zombies and go and shoot them at a safe distance, and some girl goes there. That's all I know. You know, now that Donald Trump is president, I can see this happening very easily. Well, we need the zombie apocalypse to happen first, and mm -hmm. then watch our fearless leader like get said, turned Donald into Trump a carnivore. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and again, this one gets released in two days uh, as we record this, so it'll probably be available by the time you actually see this, if not uh, quickly thereafter. So um, let us know what you think of it, if you have seen it, or... Um, down in the comments, let us know what you think of this uh, reaction or this trailer once you watch it with us um, as well. So here we go. Let's get into it. In three, two, one, a go. The Chromosome outbreak ten years ago was the deadliest pandemic the world has ever known. A virus that kills people and brings them back to life. Despite everything, humanity prevailed. And what's it like? Killing them. The resort is a sun-drenched island where guests can pay to shoot the undead. That's hilarious. I created the resort to make your fantasies come true. All this vehicles away? Oh, yes. Why? Trauma sent pandemic gave each of us a story, and those stories led us all to this island. Because here at the resort, we firmly believe every apocalypse deserves an after party. It. Yeah, you know, uh, I gotta say, at the very least, it's finally, uh, while not an overall new concept, <laughs> because it is Jurassic Park. That's yeah, exactly. Right. Uh, that's, I just kept thinking lying. the whole fucking uh, time. But at least it is a new to... application of zombies. Yeah. It's you like, know, oh no, different. plugging them into happened. a new formula. Oh so. no, they're on the loose. Who in the world didn't expect that <laughs> to happen? But uh, oh. but I, you know, I I, I at least a. a Applaud them for making a, a, a derivative yet new. No. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like it's derivative, but it's new for zombie movies. <laughs> so uh, that's that's my thoughts. I don't know. Overall thoughts, Susie. <laughs> not not no redeeming value at all. You don't, you don't really like zombies, though, right? Not I so don't much. like zombies. That, I yeah. don't. And then mm -hmm. I was like. Hmm, this is a little different. Wait, why does this storyline look so familiar? Yeah, the vehicles <laughs> the look like the Jurassic Park. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> they got the Jeeps. <laughs> they got the fucking Jeeps. Yeah. <laughs> like, same Jeeps. Almost look the same. And then, it's, and then, oh no, everything's going down. Oh no, the zombies are on the loose. And who, who, it, who could not have, have expected this to happen in this movie? It, yeah, it's just zombie Jurassic Park for me. It, I don't know. But that sounds like music to my ears, though, because no. it's See, like combining uh, yeah. two things. No, I really already like. don't like zombies, so I'm already out. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to pass on this one. Fair enough. Brittany? I'd say the good news is is if everyone does die, they're all on an island, so it's already contained, right? Yeah. That's true. <laughs> maybe, outside the box. Maybe this is actually... <laughs> this. Okay, so maybe this is how the owners of the island 
repopulate when the population of zombies is dwindling they cause everything to break and thus create a whole new group of zombies uh, that can then be herded and killed when they restaff. <laughs> <laughs> so that All would right. be like the there twist halfway through the movie is Maybe, meant yeah. to have it happen because they're right. running out. Yeah. Um, that's that would actually I don't know if they I did like that, that I would respect I like that, that. <laughs> I would respect I like, that if they did I like that. that concept. Let's see so. where they go with it, guys. Yeah. <laughs> if they didn't do it, they should change the movie and do that. <laughs> yeah, this is what I hope they put on Netflix though, or Shutter, or one of the streaming services, because I would totally watch. I would this. watch this too. Yeah. I think this would be a worth uh, worthwhile mm-hmm. check out for the for the show. So yeah. Um, so yeah, then. <laughs> let us know in the comments down below, you guys, if this one uh, tickles your fancy at all. Does the resort with a Z get it? Um, does that uh, does does this trailer make you happy or any of the trailers? Again, quite frankly, the trailers for this started coming out about seven months ago. I don't know how we missed it entirely. It was on a list of mine like months ago. <laughs> it first oh, came it there. was on Jaime's list. That's why. That's why you didn't like it. <laughs> but uh, but nonetheless, you, we're, we caught it just in time before it came out on VOD. So at least you guys can decide if you want to see it. Hey, you don't gotta wait. <laughs> Go check it out. So. Yeah. Thanks very much for watching. I've been Cecil Laird. I'm Cece Von Slaughter. I'm Brittany Lee. I'm Fuego here. And remember, stay, stay scared. scared.